Okay, welcome yo, to yo. our crib uncut. Cut. Okay, y'all, we are here. It is June. It is hot. Y'all. It is hot. What is it, like 30 right now? 35 30, or 40. It feels like 40. Honestly, it's a oh heat wave. Goodness. And it's a heat wave outside and it's a heat wave inside. inside. Because <laughs> it is Pride. Pride. Happy Pride, everybody. Happy Pride. Yes. So since it's officially the first day of the Pride Month, mm -hmm. we wanted mm -hmm. to definitely celebrate here at Our Crib Uncut. So we have a lot of friends that are coming through and joining us. And I'm about to get left right now, I heard, because um, my co-host, Allison here, is going to be bringing us a little special surprise. A special something for the little flag, for the little people, for the little pride family, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. Perfect way to hit it off, because this whole entire month, we're going to have a whole bunch of different people coming in and celebrating this, this, the way that we want to celebrate exactly. pride. And we're going to be investigating so many different topics. So make sure you guys tune in for those. All right. So... <clears throat> We've been, you know, we should address the time thing. We should yeah. address the time yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so we you probably were those. waiting for yeah. us, but we yeah. wanted to make sure that we were ready to really, really go, right? The production value is just... You already know. Be, you Everybody, know? and thank you for yeah. all the love to everybody at home that's been saying how much they love the high quality that we bring here at Level Up Studios. Studios. That's where we're filming from. That yeah. is our crib. So... We're not going to keep you waiting any longer. Nope. I'm going to go sit down because I'm wearing really like high heels today. And um, Allison is going to kick us off. So I'm going to get to the couch. Let's Allison, you got this, baby. Our crib uncut. This is some new song. You're hearing it first time here. This is the truth. Just 
Yo, our crib uncut. <laughs> I'm Allison Davis. Thanks for having me. I mean, I live here. What the hell? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that was amazing. Amazing. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. As per oh. usual. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yes, and as you can see, we have our new friend with us on the couch. Someone was in the neighborhood today. Yes. Brittany Miller is Hi, here with us. Everybody. Thanks for having me over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you coming on over and sticking with us, you know, through all the good times and the bad because we're really <laughs> here at our crib uncut. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, we're here. We are shotgunning it. We have a lot of great people in the back. Literally amazing, amazing. people. Amazing people in the back. And hopefully you'll get to see them throughout the show. Yeah. Uh, but we will shout them out as we go. Thank yeah. you, especially to Z Content and Igor yes. for hooking us up on the sound today and, you know, having us in Love Love Studio. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Um, and the thing is, guys, it, you know, we're going to hit some bumps, but it's on you guys also to tune in, share our stuff, so maybe we can pick up some sponsorships, make some grants. Yes. I don't know, you know? So but we can yeah. have, like, yeah. you know, a little something on the table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know what I mean? you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, just guys, thank you so much for bearing with us. But exactly. let's just get to the show. Let's do it. So as we said, it's Pride. Yes, Woo! Pride. Woo! It's a royal pride. You guys know that video where it's like the guy like comes out with a cake and he's like, <laughs> I, I wish I could show you guys. Okay. Well, okay. It's basically this video. This guy comes out of, I guess, of work and then he brings out this rainbow cake and he's like, oh, I bought you a cake because, like, you know, you're all gay and stuff. And, like, you, you got to, and he starts saying, he's like, did we for you, bro? Wow. No. You guys gotta search it out. It's, it's Honestly, I'm pretty good with like memes and stuff. <laughs> so I'm a little disappointed in myself. But that's little, okay. Now I wanna have you have it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, reference. Yes, right. Yes. <laughs> reference. And I'm really excited because tonight we are discussing, you know, all things pride mm -hmm. in all kind of ways. And we have, uh, you know, friends on the couch who are from all parts of the rainbow, all colors and all yeah. of that stuff. So we want to, you know, just dive into pride, like, and maybe just like, let's talk about what pride means to us. Like, yeah. talk about your first pride, maybe. How did you become engaged with pride? How did you even know to be proud? Yeah. 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 All um, of us can answer. Yeah, let's do it. But also, okay. I, want, I want Brittany to also tell, like, it, like, who are you? I know who you are. Like, yes. that's that's true. True. I know we've been chilling for a bit. Yeah. I know, right? Now it just feels like <laughs> we're all so comfortable. No, um, <laughs> Let's introduce you to who we have yeah, today yeah. on the couch. Um, yeah, so hello everybody. My name is Brittany Miller. Mm -hmm. um, I go by I'm a bad B. Hey, uh, that camera, got it. I go by I'm a bad B on Instagram. I am A B A D B E E, so you can follow me. Um, I'm an actor, model, um, storyteller, mm -hmm. uh, all encompassing, I usually like to say. Um, I do a lot of commercial, and um, so yeah, look at look out for me on your like TV and stuff. Wait, you want your mom on? Because you go backstage. So you want to learn about insurance? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was having a Mr. Clean commercial, so that's one uh, that maybe you'll recognize me from. But Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I've been I've been acting for like three years. Uh, I went to school for media and journalism, so like all of this kind of like. Um, podcast, uh, like kind of uh, new media kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a podcast at one. You had several podcasts. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did have a podcast. We are trying to like kind of bring it back, but mm -hmm. podcasts are always hard. I think it's like very much like a season thing yeah. where mm -hmm. like once you have everyone together, it's like, oh, we all kind of like the season is aligning. We all have the time it aligns. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes we all get different opportunities and yeah, things yeah. change. Yeah. And then so you take, so a, break, you take a break. Yeah. 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 So it's like we're trying to like come back to that. But it's like um, this is nice yeah. to be on this podcast. Yeah. And coming, you know. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. What else about me? Uh, I make TikToks. I uh, I'm a dancer. Um, a trained dancer. Yeah, mm -hmm. a trained dancer. I what actually kind of started uh, all of the above tap, jazz, ballet. Um, I started as a dancer like 
uh, since I was like a little kid. Mm -hmm. And then went to school for um, journalism and media and then left school after and started working at Flow 95. Ah. Yeah, hey. which is gone now, RIP, but um, mm -hmm. that was a great experience. I was on their uh, promotions team. So I was like all the activations, I was at the concerts, doing the social media stuff. Very cool. All of that, all of that good stuff. And then honestly the pandemic hit and I literally was like, I uh, lost my job. <laughs> I got laid yeah. off. Oh, uh, Cause it went under and there was just no station anymore. And I really was just kind of put in a position where I was just like, what am I really trying to do? Because if I was being honest with myself, mm -hmm. I wasn't like, super fulfilled at flow mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. i felt like i was having fun but yeah, i wasn't yeah. like fulfilled yeah and um after you know sitting on it and doing just like a couple things for friends for example that video that we did which yeah, was like yeah, so yeah. iconic <laughs> uh we did like a parody skit video and it really just inspired me to like you know kind of take it seriously the acting thing people always kind of were like you should be an actor and ever, ever since i was a kid i was always like i want to be an actor Mm -hmm. And I think somewhere as you get older, you just like lose that part of yourself that mm -hmm. just like mm -hmm. knows exactly what you want as a child. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I think the silence of the pandemic allowed me to just be like, what do I really want? Like, you know, and it was just like, I've always wanted to be an actor. That's just always what it's been. And so mm -hmm. I got an agent. Right and then away? It's, yeah, yeah, literally right away. I just like reached out to someone that was, um, I'm with Miracle Management actually. Mm -hmm. And um, I reached out to her. She was already following me on, on TikTok and Instagram because I was wow. making skits and stuff. And so it was very aligned. She was like, I was waiting for you to <laughs> kind of to get on board. And I was like, that's great. So yeah, and ever since then, I've just been booked and busy, yeah. um, which is great. Well, uh, mermaid at one point. Yeah, yeah. Holy. I I went to Mexico and shot a commercial for Poise, um, so it's like American commercial as well. And mm -hmm. yeah, I they fit me for like a whole like mermaid tail. So wow. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I had my little Ariel moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like Hallie, Hallie who? <laughs> it's actually pretty funny because <laughs> even doing that commercial, they were like, I had braids when I auditioned, <laughs> yeah. and they're specifically like. You got to get rid of the braids because it's giving too much, like, Howie and, like, the movie's coming out, we might get yeah. sued. Like, and I was like, okay, fair. Don't compare me to Howie, but okay. Like, I was like, kind of gas, but... Don't me to Howie. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I've done, I've done a lot of commercial stuff, and I did a TV show um, that's on CBC Gem mm -hmm. called Ooh. Virgins. So that's nice. Virgins with an exclamation mark on the end. Um, is that out right now or that? That one's out right mm -hmm. now. So you guys can go stream it. CBC Gem is free. So I was telling people that I'm like, it's free. There's actually yeah. a lot of good shows on there. Mm -hmm. Amazing Canadian content. So Canadian much good. Content. Yeah. So go and check it out. Um, it's a great story. It's about four East African women navigating like sex dating relationships. But without sex, because they're Muslim, so it's kind of like that whole world, which was Ooh, new to me yeah. and uh, a beautiful experience to be part of, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, go check that out. And in light of Pride Month, I also um, was in a series uh, film premiere that premiered in the Inside Out Film Festival. Uh, called the Bloom Room series, and I was a lead in that, so yeah, that's good. that was pretty exciting. Um, yeah, so I did that. I did that two years ago, and it and it finally came out, and it premiered at the Inside Out Film Festival, which is a queer dominant film festival, all about queer stories and um, LGBTQ things. So check out that festival. There's so many other things premiering that you can go and watch. Um, mm -hmm. Which is really cool. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's me. That's crazy, <laughs> love, 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 love. That's crazy. Yeah. So that's me. So much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 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 Just figuring yeah. it out. Yeah. You know. Just for getting up in the morning. Getting up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> are there any roles that you are like itching to play um, uh, right now? Oh man. Uh, so, I would love. I always tell people my dream is like to play uh, a superhero for sure. <gasps> mm -hmm. I really want to be a part of the Marvel universe. Oh, yes, me too. So badly. Too. I think like even growing up, like I always was like, I love Marvel. Mm -hmm. Like I just love the whole like, like exactly. the whole map of like the whole yeah, like yeah. universe. I love it. So 
I would love to be like a badass. Like I don't even know who. I don't care. Yeah. If I'm being honest with you. Like Catwoman. I could see that. Ooh, don't tell me that. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. Though, by the way. I know. I was, but, I was okay, either one. US line. I well, let it fly. I would take DC. I would take DC. <laughs> I would take DC. I would take DC. <laughs> to be a superhero, I would take any of the comics. Yeah, I would take Honestly, any. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Honestly, yeah. Um, yeah. But now, it's so funny because now after watching The Little Mermaid, <laughs> right. I'm Disney? very inspired to okay. be a part of the Disney world. Oh, Tiana. You could definitely. Yeah. My sister put that in my head. Yeah, She's like, you are. Oh, Tiana. Imagine Honestly? you play Princess Tiana, yeah, and that's like, that would be a good one. Get a zoom up on yeah, this. Can we, like, zoom yeah. in? Yeah. You even have the hair. Yeah. yeah. Right now, it's getting, like, and I'm yeah, all it's getting rooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and I feel like, I feel like that would be such a fun one, because yeah. then, like, you get to be, like, a voice actor, too. Yeah, yeah. actually. That would be cool if they did that. that with the frog. Like, wouldn't they get really, like, real? Yeah, they probably do it like The Little Mermaid. You oh, gotta watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching. Yeah, the yeah. Movie. They really impressed me with the oh, with the CGI. It was yeah. like, whoa, wow, we're wow. in another wow. world of film. Yeah, <laughs> like we've That's entered true, a new world. She yeah. is underwater. Yeah, the whole time. like not the whole time. Oh. Because remember, she yeah, comes, she up. comes up. Out. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole plot. She's like, I'll leave in the ocean. Yeah, yeah like, she doesn't want to be the there. Wish I could be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was like good. That was really. Thank you. I, 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 was like, I look right in the camera for a reason. Who's trying to hire? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Princess Tiana audition, but also at the same time, I would love to play like even like a villain. Yeah. Ooh, um, yeah. yeah, I really like that concept. I, feel more I like would love that. to play Cruella Deville. Oh, oh don't even. Right? <laughs> That's like <laughs> Ursula and or, Cruella Deville, yeah. favorite characters in Disney, and I feel like Cruella Deville, and she was black. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I good. Know. Why was she black? A, a fro that's like half white, half black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I love that. <laughs> Interestingly, Cruella um, Deville also with the black and white. Like, okay, Disney, we see you. Yeah, mm -hmm. they they have a trend going on. They like, do. When that's it comes true. to their villains, they do. Ooh. It's like a black and white thing. Yeah, I feel that. Just saying. Yeah, I would love to play a villain. Honestly. Yeah. Actually, in the in the film that premiered in the Inside Out Film Festival, mm -hmm. uh, I kind of everyone was telling me that they're like you were kind of the villain, and I was like I was, <laughs> I was okay the villain. My character, she she essentially is um, dealing with her own issues. It takes place in the pandemic, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and they all kind of bond in this room where they all have plants, but it's essentially a way of them connecting about life and the things that they go through. Um, and so one of the characters is trans and they're on like a dating app and they're talking to someone on this dating app. My character happens to be on dating apps fucking with people a little bit. Oh, are you a catfish? Yeah, I'm a catfish. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're friends though and I don't realize that I end up kind of... Yeah. Messing with your friend. Ruining a friendship in a wow. way. So how did you deep dive into that character? Like, how did, like... Um, I think it's so funny because I think a lot of people are asking, like, oh, like, to play a villainous person, like, mm -hmm. what does that feel like? I feel like you're not that kind of person. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I think, for me, it's always, like, even as an actor, I always think about empathy. Yeah. And it's always about, like, everybody is a villain sometimes in somebody's story. Yeah, yeah are, You know? Exactly. So it's like, are. I could be a villain in somebody's story. Yeah, you're always a hero in yours. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like... Just thinking about it in the way that's like, well, they're in their story, they're not a villain, yeah. you know, they're just being themselves, they're living their life, yeah. and they're a villain to somebody else. So, I think just thinking about it in the way that's like, oh, I'm not trying to be a villain, but this is just the reality of my world and how I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. find that motive between that character, why they're yeah, you know, why like do that. they do what they do, yeah, you know, yeah. like is it childhood trauma or yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Which that's what it usually oh, yeah. is, right? Yeah, she's You're like, oh, she's yeah. She's like, oh, she's such joy. a bully. Yeah. She always, she always pushes kids, <laughs> like you know. And then you like are like, oh, when they were a kid, like she they had no push. friends. And... Exactly, because hurt people hurt people. Oh, yeah, people. usually. Exactly, yeah. hurt people hurt people. Um, so, your movie is coming out. Mm -hmm. What what else are you excited for? Rolling out for Pride for you, like what, like for Pride? I am yeah. so excited for Pride this year. I feel like. Um, Pride, to me, I guess to get into mm -hmm. that question, I think pride to me uh, is very important in the way that um, I identify as queer um, and I didn't always necessarily identify as queer. Mm -hmm. I definitely kind of fell into it, which I think a lot of people can relate to that kind of 
story or like background of like, you know, you just maybe met somebody and then suddenly your whole world has changed and like your perspective is different. And so um, pride to me uh, is really about just a safe space and like being able to feel seen and like feel heard and understood. Um, and I think at the time of my life where I was kind of like opened up to this new part of myself, um, I wasn't feeling seen or heard by like the people that were immediate to me, like my close friends and family. Like I wasn't feeling seen and heard. One, because I wasn't sharing, but also because I wasn't sure how to identify. I didn't really understand what I was going through. I just knew that I loved this person and now I'm in this relationship and that's just what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I think pride was really always like this safe space that I could go to, um, especially during that time because I was, I was living in secrecy with this person, truly. And so it was like, oh, I just always looked forward to pride. Um, like my first pride, I think was like when I was like 19 and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so excited to go to Pride because I get to, like, hold my girlfriend's hands, like, yeah, you know, yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. I just, like, that was, like, such a big deal, like, because yeah. we would do, we'd hang out all the time, do regular, regular things, but, like, that's always in the back of your mind, it's like, oh, like, people are, like, gonna look or, like, judge or, like, what if I see someone I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and so um, Pride was just, like, the the space where I was like, oh my gosh, like, I can literally, like, I can kiss this person in public, I can, you know, hold our hands, I can just be and, like, not even think, Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's um, beautiful. Like, yeah, and so, yeah, I think even now, like, um, I'm not, I'm not actually not even in a queer relationship now, mm-hmm. um, but still identify as queer in the way that I feel like, uh, just the way that I think, the way that I feel, about people, right. mm-hmm. I think also is an aspect of like being a part of the community as well. Like, like I don't think it's only about um, what you identify sexually or I like agree. who you want to love or like whatever. I think it's really like a type of person and energy, like people who are just so open to like being yourself yeah. and like being okay with that and accepting, I think is what it's all about. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's what yeah. pride really is all about. Yeah. And so, I'm genuinely looking forward to going to Pride this year because I feel like sometimes, like, I'm going to just lay it out. Let me just be real, okay? Mm -hmm, I'll lay it out. Sometimes, now being in a straight relationship, you know, I see, I feel unseen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Like, truly, you know? Because it's just, like, I... It's still a part of me. It's just, that's who I am. I'll still still see a beautiful woman and be like, She's beautiful, (laughs) you know, and so, and have thoughts that are like maybe inappropriate, (laughs) you know? So I'm like, I, I feel like it's necessary, even though I'm like, I'm with my partner now and I love them deeply, but it's like, I still, there's still a part of me that needs to be validated. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that I still have this space that I can go to and be like, well, I'm going to go to pride though this, this year. And I'm still feel validated there at least, you know, like maybe in like daily life, everyone's being like, she's a straight girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's seen it, you know? And I'm just like, no, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's not who I am. There's so much more to me, like, yeah, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I think this year is very special in that way because um, it'll be an opportunity to, yeah, I feel seen again. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I get it. I you get know? It. I get it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm curious also, like just listening to you and just thinking about your life as an actor, there's many different roles that you must play And I'm just so curious to know that now, okay, you're queer, you identify that way, but also you obviously, um, you know, you're saying that you're in a relationship that's not queer now. So Mm -hmm. how does all of that play out on set, like in roles that you decide to be involved in? Yeah. Yeah. Um, (laughs) It's so funny because I feel like, I'm like, should I say that? Or is that like... (laughs) I, I think you should say it's, it's uncut. Give us the uh, juice. Uncut, right? Yeah. Uncut. Yeah. So, okay, I'll be real with you. Um, so I think it's really interesting um, because uh, the last role that I did, um, well, actually, both roles that I played were actually queer characters. Mm-hmm. Now that I think about it, um, the Virgin's character that I played, which was uh, the name is Jenea. Mm-hmm. 
Um, their character was very, um, like, I, I think the, the concept for the show was that the, the other person, my scene partner, essentially, mm -hmm. that I'm, I'm supporting lead to, uh, they are queer. Mm. And so my role wasn't necessarily to be um, a love interest of any sort. It was more of to be like a guru, but I also identify within this community. Um, but I think it was interesting because then, you know, when you sit down and you actually are a queer person right. in this role, um, it was just interesting because now we're just like, we're two people now embodying these characters. And then it was like, suddenly now you have like the showrunner being like, are you guys flirting? <laughs> this is cute. I, I like this. Like, I like this underlining, like, maybe y'all like each other. Right. You know, or like, maybe there's like something building here, you oh, know? Oh, so they put that in the show because... Yes, wow. yeah. Wow. So that was kind of like, now a whole like rework of the understanding of these two characters because it was just like us being by ourselves, yeah, ultimately, yeah. like ourselves coming through in the way that we're just like, yeah, we're two queer girls. And like, at the end of the day, yeah. Maybe there was a little attraction there. Yes, so we yes. were just like yeah. playing off of it and like it just like worked naturally. And like I think that's um, a really interesting part of playing a character or mm -hmm. playing a queer character and actually being queer because I think you, at the end of the day, you can bring something to the role yeah. like, so true. that maybe the writer didn't think about, yeah. you yeah. know? Very because true. actors, um, you know, heterosexual couples, we hear about them all the time, mm -hmm. falling in love on set, getting married because of, yeah. you yeah. know, their time on set. Yeah. Or just even forging amazing friendships, partnerships, et cetera, like exactly. the chemistry they build. So it's interesting what you're saying because I have heard and seen that a lot of queer characters that are written are not played by queer pe people who identify as queer. Yeah, or any mm -hmm. of the roles, like they just kind of stick people. And I do find that that's a form of appropriation, especially knowing that there's so many- There's so many yeah, options. Like, so many there's options. too many people too out many here options. who are identifying and are out for us to still continue to be yeah. putting people who are not actually identifying in those roles. Yeah. I think this is very important, like, yeah. So no. listen out there, media. Please yeah, hire the like. people that actually yeah. you'll get better and like quality out of your story. No, one hundred percent. And also, I think um, like to kind of bounce what you're saying, like in in these roles, I think a lot of the time, even like the trope of what a queer character yes, is, exactly um, the Butch Dyke. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I yeah, find myself like going out for a lot of auditions, and like uh, it'll be like oh, like, this is a, a black queer character. And they're like, oh, she identifies as, like, really, like, hard. Like, <laughs> like blah, blah, blah. you know? Yeah. And I'm just like... It's like, but I'm here, and I'm not like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? And I'm me? just like... And then I'm reading the script now, and I'm just <laughs> like, there's no specification that this person has to, like, present a certain way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're just saying that, like, their character is like, oh, they're, like, very strong. They're very independent. They're this, this, this. You know, but, like, that can still present very feminine. Yeah. 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 You know? I think you're very yeah. strong and, like... Yeah. 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 And yeah. I think that even, like, my own queer journey, well, like, a lot of that was, like, trying to find the balance of being, like, I can still be feminine yes. presenting yeah. and still yeah. be attracted to women. Yeah. Or, like, I don't have to fit into, like, a box of, like, whatever being gay means in terms of like what I wear a dress or like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and I think yeah. that kind of representation needs to happen more. Mm -hmm. And I think the more that you actually, like you're saying, cast like actually queer people, the more you'll see that like, there are so, so many, many different types and, types and layers and like you can take these characters to so many different places, yeah, exactly. you know, instead of just like, oh, like, there, yeah. <laughs> There's so you know, many different, there's so many. And then I think that that will even help those folks that may still be in the closet exactly. to see themselves and recognize that, like, for instance, for me, Issa Rae was a big, mm -hmm. uh, like, inspiration to me because mm -hmm. she presented herself as awkward black girl. That yeah. is my yes. M.O. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, <laughs> just like, when I saw her do that, and that's such a, 
like that's not what you want to. That's like not what people think black girls are. Black no. girls are yeah. strong, yeah. angry, yeah, yeah. mean. Like that's an attitude. That's yes. black girls. Like yeah. not cute, uh, awkward, and like tripping over their words and yes. you know hiding in the bathroom. So mm-hmm. I think when you do that, it really helps people, as you were saying, to be seen. Mm-hmm. And then we get true representations of what's really out there, and yeah. people stop expecting you to be a certain way when they meet yeah. you when they figure out your status it's like oh yeah. but if you're gay then how come this is what i see yeah. 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 <laughs> you know or even yeah. in partners i'm sure or i'm curious actually in relationships when you have told partners like your um your identity your sexual identity does that change things like based on how you present you know physically yeah yeah i think um even when i got out of my well, the first queer relationship I was in was a very long time, um, and it was like five years. So when I came out of that relationship, uh, I was very in a place of like, oh God, what am I looking for now? I don't yeah. really know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I I was dating, and I feel like that's where I was trying to find like how I present or like let people know like. Yeah. I'm just- yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, do I wear a sign now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, I felt like I. Hey. I heard gay and I heard a young girl and told me what's going on. That's the sign. That's Green on green. I know we always have special guests come yes, pop. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I love the crowd. Yes. Yes. Okay. Keyword yeah. is gay today because yes. it is happy pride. For your pride. For your pride. Of course. You guys, be who you are for pride. <laughs> <laughs> this is a meme culture, if you don't get the reference. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite hilarious. That's so weird, though. Because I felt crazy at one point. I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm on the wrong side. Take Honestly, that. singing. There's singing nothing worse than sometimes. recording a meme and no one else gets it. Yeah. 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 It's the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I swear it's funny, yeah. love. Yeah. 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 It's I promise you, And it's even worse when you bring out the actual meme and then they still are just And like, you have to yeah, explain yeah. it? <laughs> you have to explain it? And they're like, oh. oh. That and you're like, that yeah, that, that's yeah. exactly it. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> you're like, it was funny if you were there. <laughs> like, whatever. No. But yeah, the key word, you know, we're speaking. And actually, I love this talk. I'm glad you came over right now. Yeah. I heard gay stuff. I'm running my down. You don't know nothing. Huh? No gifts, no. Um, you know, last time I was here, I left me a little um drink, oh. so I feel like you're still here, you know. I have offerings. My offerings that cannot be um you know consumed on camera. <laughs> I'm However, to get into the network, y'all. So yes. Yeah. I'm cutting on cancel. But we were speaking just while you came in. We were speaking about dating and being gay and also fitting oh, these shit. <laughs> stereotypes like yes. of what you should be if you identify that way and then people meeting you and you say you are but then they say you're not mm-hmm. or yeah i mean well i mean i think that goes for anyone people have misconceptions or ideas of what they're supposed to either look like or be interested in mm-hmm. um if a girl says they're bisexual that's okay but let a man say he's bisexual it's like what the fuck yeah, yeah. you're really yeah. gay yeah, yeah, you're, really you're a homo yeah, bro like, okay. I, I don't really you're a homo yeah, bro. Sure. It's like, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 that doesn't make sense. You eat tofu once, are you vegetarian for life? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know I mean, people have an idea, and like, it's difficult, especially for like, um, me, like men to want to explore their sexuality, mm-hmm. which sucks because then a lot of homo- homophobia is like add on to it, you know? Yeah. yeah. And like, we were talking about earlier, like, you know, allies eventually become into allies. Because, you know, <laughs> yes. you, know you realize, like, yes. some, people are, some people are comfortable with themselves and, like, straight men are comfortable with themselves to be friends with gay people and that is totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. But also people who are also realizing that, like, you know, I don't know what, I'm trying to figure it out. That is totally okay, too, without having people questioning or telling you what you are and whatnot. Like and that's that. yeah. saying that you have to choose. You like, have to choose. And, and why? Like, why must we choose any damn options? Exactly. Uh, and I feel like people forget, too, that you're always figuring it out. Yeah, like, yeah, you know it's a I constant mean? journey. Always, constantly, yeah. constantly changing yeah, through time, yeah. through different people you meet. And we evolve. Like, my thing is who you were at 21 and who you are at 25 or 26 or last week. And, you know, people don't know what they like until what they like until you explore it. And then all of a sudden it's giving. (laughs) That too. If you haven't tried it, then how can you know for sure? Literally, I lie. I lie. (laughs) Just give me I lied. I'm right and I'm like, oh, I'm just an ally. (laughs) Suddenly you're at the bar and you're just like, we're making out. And you're like, no, and then next week it's gonna be next Pride. They're leading the parade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, you know? right up front. Exactly. 
Well, um, Tash, I need you to introduce yourself and yes. you know tell the lovely viewers yeah. what you do. Yeah. Because you're 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 a Toronto Pride icon. Yeah. Uh, um, so yeah. Tell legend. Us, yeah, legend. legend. Hi, I'm an old gay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, my name is Shamarke. I have to go by cash. Um, I have been throwing events within the city and throwing community-focused um, events since... Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> since, yeah, like around... Technically, since I was like 17, actually. I wow. started in the ballroom scene and I started like throwing events um, since then for like the voguing Toronto community. Hey. And then as I got older, around my 25th birthday, I started a party called Smoked. Yes. It was, um, I was tired of going outside the club to go smoke a spliff and come back in. Yeah, and yeah. honestly, I just wanted a place to be able to enjoy my people, my community, my music, and be able to enjoy a spliff in the process. Oh, okay. you know, everyone isn't always a, a drinker. A drink. Yeah. I was really I was like, why did you start this part? That's literally. literally, literally that's actually, I know. It was I my 25th that. birthday. Just came back from Columbia, and right. I was like. I want to do something like yeah. you know, um, the sugar daddy had some money, and I was like, you know what? Let me get a venue, and literally, like Unit Two, shout out to Unit Two, like Rose, like those like mm -hmm. community members. They were like, oh, we have a space. I asked my friends at DJ, they like I got a spot, and like I invited a few of my friends. And by the time it was like midnight, the whole place was at capacity. Wow. It, it overflowed, um, and like I think the most. Was it called the Eureka moment or the Ha moment? Yeah. Was mm -hmm. um, being this, you know catty little gay that I am. It was my birthday, and there was a few people that I didn't like that showed up, and I'm like, how dare they show up <laughs> to my birthday party? Like, what the? <laughs> like, get out of here! Are you crazy? I don't want to see that bitch. And then all of a sudden, I realized, and I'm like, wait. We don't like each other. You can't stand me, but you paid money you to did. come into my party. Yo, haters are the most. I said they I'm on that. to something, and then I realized. <laughs> but I realized in that moment, in time I was over here like, "Fuck that bitch, get out of here." I'm like, "Wait, did she pay? <laughs> come on in, come on in, come on in, baby." And then in that, in that moment, yeah, it made me realize that, like, to be honest, if you create a vibe, if you create an experience, people will come no matter what. Yeah. And it's yeah. not necessarily, they literally, they don't care. Yeah. But my thing is, like, the city is lacking and slacking oh, yeah. for our spaces that cater to us and what we enjoy. Mm -hmm. So no, even if I don't like the bitches giving, fuck you, ho, here's your $20. Yeah. And, and go in because yeah. the space that you provide is still worthy of coming, even if I don't like you. Yeah. 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 So I think that was a little... Eureka moment, and I'm then curious. are you friends now with these? Oh, 100%. We laugh yeah, about it all see, the time, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. But in that moment, it was going to show that even if we have like a, a, like a beef right now, so it, oh, it was still giving very much like, you know, oh, why are you here? And it's giving, <laughs> it's giving like, 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 it's giving, I want to come to this party so badly. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. suck up yeah. my, my pride yeah. Yeah. and pay that money to come in. You saw what I did there? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. But yeah. What was the I'm willing to, like, you know, Swallow my pride, hashtag pride, hashtag oral tips. Um, but to go in, but then literally afterwards, like that was 25, I'm 31 now. Mm -hmm. And like after like six, seven years of doing it, like it's expanded from 150 people off to like 700, 600 wow. people stuff for events yeah, to this Let's day. Go. So yeah, I've wow. been doing that. Incredible. You know, do some community work going on. Yes, yeah. the community for the girls. Is coming up? Yes, actually, coming up for Pride, we have one of our biggest what? ones coming up. Yeah, plug it right yes. now. I'll, I'll um, be there. Friday, mm -hmm. actually, we have a few things coming up. Um, before all of that, I actually just joined this year the committee of Blockorama. Oh, Blockorama, really? That's yes. My yes. Pride best Pride event. Block best Pride event. Yes, yes. Blockorama <laughs> is the longest running Pride program in all of Pride Toronto, the longest. Wow. 25 years of black queerness being That's run within cool. Toronto. Woo! You are, yes. That's that. 25 years. 25 years, okay. That's there were no pronouns back then. There was there's been the LGBTs <laughs> back then, okay. Back then, it was just about it was about them, like like they, like the, those folks. Them but folks. at that point, like it was, yeah. Um, Baka's been fighting 25 years to have like now they have the largest, um, largest stage of uh, all of Pride Toronto. Mm -hmm. We're going for two days this year. We're going for Saturday and Sunday, Let's um, go. and the uh, Young and Wealthy stage, um, celebrating 25 years. So like most oh definitely God. come on down, highlighting Black queer local talents, community artists, mm -hmm. supporters, everything. So like Block Rama, check it out. But if you want to skin out and enjoy yourself, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friday, right. All of that. And 
smoking cider. Yeah. Edibles, mushrooms, pre-rolls, everything. Be, you know, and be served by your community, by be secured by your community, be hosted yeah. by your yeah. community. Yeah. Have a venue that's ran and organized by your community. Mm. Those are the things that we want, and it's going to be going down Friday, June 23rd, instead of Impact Lounge, um, 10 to 4 a.m., if not later. We'll be hosted by Sidani, one of our local Toronto <laughs> artists. You see already? Oh yes, we have Alyssa Monet, Redliners, Donny Vega, Ooh. Kike, Jordi Dior. Oh my goodness. And I am missing one more DJ that's going to be surprised actually. And we have some dancers and a whole bunch of performances and surprises coming up. So Friday, June 23rd, Smoke TL, check it out. It's going to be lit. Yeah, yes. And why are you gay the day after his day party? But check that out. Yes, yeah, so I honestly, you have to check out the promo for. Yeah, I need, I need, it is awesome. Like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's so literal, but then it just makes you think, like, wait. Why are you why gay? Are you gay? Yeah. Who says why I'm are gay? You gay? Yeah, who says? You are gay. You are gay. And that's why also are you gay? A, right, it's a reference <laughs> to an African meme, yeah. but like, in the city, like, there's. There's Caruso, which is a beautiful African Afro beast party that I go to and I enjoy it. But like, I also realize that Koreanists and Africanists aren't usually intertwined, and you can't engage in a space with both of those. Yes. So to be a place where you can have, be unapologetically yourself, right? You know, eat a little foo foo, suck a little foo foo, like you know what I mean? <laughs> like you know, like be able to do both of those things in one. Yeah. Is you know, it's it's a great space, and honestly, like like the promo and stuff like that, I do as a joke. But like people who actually like can relate to the. Um, intersection of it all, yes. truly enjoy it. We had one last week and it was honestly an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. So be on the lookout for that one too. And I love that you kind of took us into a topic that we definitely wanted to talk about, which was, you know, how did you come out or even be yourself like in your community, especially like whatever your background might be. Like myself, I'm Guyanese. I know that like my family. I don't know, they, they have like a different... <laughs> I know, I'm very curious because you're dying too. Yeah. Um, I'm like, come my out. Like, my chain here. Even, like, come out, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm the L. Uh, <laughs> I'm an ally, actually. I'm an ally. Oh, yes, it's all an act. I'm an ally. I'm not gay. I support them. What they do in their bed is not my business. I don't need this business. <laughs> um, but how is that? Like, you know, in your family. And to be honest, the craziest part is like, um, oh, damn, bitch, and we're getting emotional. Um, to be honest, like, uh, it was only till a few years ago, even when I was doing the parties, that I still came to somewhat, quote unquote, terms with myself, if that makes sense. Yes, yeah. Um, Family, the idea and acceptance of love by a family, you would assume that it's unconditional. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And in my mind, it's like, okay, I'm not a gangbanger. I'm not mm -hmm. doing this, I'm not doing right. that. Like, mm -hmm. if, I, if I do everything to appease my family, would they not automatically, like, love me, you know? What's a little dick sucking every now and again, you know? Like, I can still provide you kids. Like, what are the concerns? It's never yeah. really a religious concern. It's more so something else, you know? Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it came to a point where Liddy Mom was like, Final answer is this, are you gay or not? And I'm like, yes, I am. Love me. What are you going to do? And it gave. <laughs> right? Right. It gets better. It's like it's better. It's a story. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> but it's like, it's, in that time, yeah. In that time, like, it was like, you can't fathom the idea that, like, you know, your parents is not going to give very much. Well, in that case, I can't support you. Get the fuck out. And I was like, oh. Okay, yeah, like yeah. It, it was a blow, but at that yeah. time you realize that it's gonna, like, are you gonna live your life for somebody else, oh, even yeah. if it's the person that you would die for? Yeah. yeah. Or is it given that that's a you problem and I can't hold it onto myself? Yeah. yeah. Now, granted, the whole entire time I'm dying on the inside, yeah. but I have to make that step for myself in that case, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it was a tumultuous process to kind of just be like, okay, I love myself. People are like yeah. Yeah. reading towards me that they enjoy my energy. I create the love amongst the community, amongst the family that I have. Mm -hmm. I, when I call people my sister and my brother and my educated children, like I really refer to them as that because it's like maybe the love that you don't necessarily receive from yeah. home, yes. you'd be able to provide it into your friends, into your family in those sense. And that's it. Like, you know what I mean? Just acceptance, really. Like you just kind that's of what it more is. Oh, I never thought, acceptance like, wholeheartedly. Yeah, I told wholeheartedly. her after. Yeah. I was like, I do everything for you. And yeah. I'm like, you still can't process that? And she's like, no. And then it hit me and I said, you know what? That's, yeah. a, that's a fair state. It's a fair response. Because mm -hmm. I said, I wish you were a better mom. And then I said that just to like try to make a yeah. point. Mm -hmm. and but, then, also, but then also but in reality, also, yeah. we're but stuck with all these wishes, 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 all wishes but all we wish, have wish, is wish. in reality. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's like, it is what it is in that moment in time, but then you had, had to take a little few months off and then just 
kind of gathered my thoughts and then the phone call came back and like she would came back begging and crying oh, like the person oh, she is yeah. but she we needed time to come back Thank you know? you. and i don't want to equate it to a race or anything like that but this idea of coming out at the age mom i'm gay love and accept me yeah. and if you don't like wholeheartedly and if you have an issue with that then apparently i'm a phobic and no i where i come from african caribbean black households mm -hmm. where religion and culture and what are other people gonna say it's never what your family yeah. no they know you yeah. they know, like, they know you like sucking dick in your pussy. Yeah, your yeah. family knows you're a lesbian, your yeah. family knows you're gay. It's never them. Yeah. It's about what yeah. are people going to say. Yeah. And that's always the issue, you know? Yeah, and my biggest always. thing is I would never want nothing to ever affect my mom in from an like, outside perspective. Yeah. Yes. I could deal with the outside world. Mm -hmm. But what my what I do should not have to be a reflection on my mom. Yeah. And that mm -hmm. was the disconnect that I had. Mm -hmm. But now to this day, my mom is like, you know, a, um, a quiet investor in smoked and, you know, <laughs> she comes to the back of smoke sometimes and, you know, helps me set up. She helps me set up and take stuff down. Oh, People oh. know my mom, like, her name, and they storm the car, like, fans, and they say hi to her and whatnot. But, oh like, God. yeah, like, my mom is, like, my best friend. But I also know that I'm one of the lucky, blessed yeah. ones to have a mother like that. Yeah. And I know damn well that a lot of people don't, so like I don't take it for granted at all. Right. Yeah. But that's why we make a, such a point to like have community and have these spaces because it's like in that moment you just know that it's giving like I may not even know your name like that but I see you around but just know that you're in a space where you're taking care of someone has your back yeah, yeah. truly yeah. and that's what and pride and shit like that low key on some real it shit really, really is means. what it's about yeah and I keep trying to make up boys on the shit whatever but <laughs> let's say it's an unspoken community that you don't necessarily have you can just feel taken care of you feel safe you feel like okay yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think yeah. that's really good advice even for anybody even watching because I know like I've definitely been there like it's just like sometimes you think you know like uh, they'll never come around but sometimes you got to just be patient with yeah. like your family mm -hmm. and like especially coming from a black household yeah. mm -hmm. like a lot of it is patience that's what that's what I've learned that's what I've taken from my journey and even from what your story like I feel like it, sometimes you'll you'll be surprised, mm -hmm. but I think it's just sometimes you gotta be patient with them. Patient and also have an idea of and be strong in yourself. And be strong, but also yeah. like I always say, give people grace in the sense like grace. We yeah. always we don't look at our family, and our parents like who they, who who the hell were they before they were right. our mom and dad? Yeah, yeah. We, like like if they, if we don't bitch, we just learned our trauma last week. Yeah, yeah. we just uh, we're unpacking our shit right now as a grown um, thirty. And that's because we have the tools and the resources and the tools. now. Yeah. Maybe not the good, not the good like you know therapy yeah. that we can wish we could afford and have it uh, benefits. We're just all but the we're doing this head. now and yeah. trying to unpack yeah. it. Just yeah. trying. Yeah. I couldn't fathom what our parents had to go through. Yeah, and dealing with. That whole process yeah. of being just first generation navigating all of that, and then on top of that, gay. Yeah. Why would you want to add gay on top of all the oh, stress oh, that we're dealing with? Yeah. yeah. And that is a valid question. That's yeah. valid. And it's given like, bitch, it's not a choice. Who chooses yeah, this shit? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You don't need to have to explain that, but like that, it is like you have to kind of give people like grace and kind of expose them to certain things that it's like, okay, you know, mm -hmm. like. I did not. <laughs> no, I didn't. no, but to be honest, but to be honest, but to yeah. be honest there's, 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 there's two methods of it. It's given yeah. very much um, unapologetically love me. It is what it is. And then I realized that I don't have the balls for that. Yeah. So as a kid, so like in my mind, it was giving plausible deniability, but I look at the generation now these days and they, oh, like maybe I'm an old like jaded gay, but like it makes me just like flabbergasted how comfortable yeah. and free at the yeah. young as kids just be themselves. And so I'm yeah. yeah. so And I'm like, oh, you have the audacity. Oh my yeah. god! Like, like I'm over here old, like old, to be yeah. seeing like, themselves. I feel yeah. like now people like to come out. It's just like coming out, yeah, giving okay. nobody yeah. cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> They're waiting for a whole Gen parade. Z, Gen Z, they're like, yeah. you come out in Gen Z, they're just like, wow, that is so yeah. millennial. You're not special. Yeah. 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 They're like, okay. And like, that's how the world's supposed to be. That's yeah. what that's we have been be. yeah. working towards. Well, that, and like, that's exactly what, like, you know, ripple down generations. That's exactly what we had to go through. And, and, and if we went through something, goddamn, yeah. people before us, like, I cannot imagine. Yeah. I can, yeah, Lord. all the thoughts, like, even us on this podcast, we get to say all these thoughts and talk about this, but. They had to just sit with that. Like, yeah. there's nobody to talk. If you no social out, media. They no, yeah, no, you can have a cool outlet. Else. Yeah. Imagine saying, Hark, look, yeah. another gay. It's like the idea of community yes. was literally like a Unheard. life or death you know thing. Yeah. Because like, yeah. if you didn't see them on your street, you were just like, oh, they don't exist. Everyone was an op. I'm a weirdo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. a monster. Like, yeah. 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 What gets me a lot when watching like the old history movies or whatever, mm. and you see those gay couples. Uh, 
I, I never take in. I think it happens like I, like very recently when right. I just took it in the weight of when their gay couple gets taken away from them. Mm. Yeah. And that's like all they don't have twins. Yeah, like, well, they don't. Yeah. They don't yeah. talk yeah. ish about that. Yeah, oh. yeah. so that it's like, like the one person, one person yeah. that will ever probably get understand. You. Understand yeah. you. And like, understand it was left for death. Like, like, like yeah. death right there. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, like that's why. Like I always, I always uh, make it a point to like just the history of things. Yeah. Like um, I was just fun fact. I was out here with a fake ID, running around trying to just get into these spaces because I grew up thinking that I'll tell you what. <laughs> Um, I thought I grew up thinking that black people weren't gay. I thought black people weren't gay. I thought it was like a Korean and white people thing. Like I, I genuinely thought like, oh, that's cool for them, but like we're not allowed. Like you know what I mean? And like the first yeah. black person that said, oh, I'm not, they exist, and yeah. I was like, no. Yeah. And like literally, if it wasn't for like coming across like black cat pleasure, like um, twisted, like other community members at that age, 16, 17, and being like, oh, there's more of us. Like, yeah. Yeah. shout out to black, um, BQI. It's a black queer youth that runs from Soy that's been going for 20 something years. Yeah. Every Wednesday, it'd be like, all right, how do you meet as a group and talk about issues like we're family yeah. and, and discuss those things? And as a kid, it was like, yeah, yeah, I get to be with my friends. Mm -hmm. But in reality, it was actually like community, like resources, like that was putting in work. Yeah. That if I didn't have that, I know a lot of kids who have like, you know, turned exactly. out another group. Yeah. Well, like, I thought I had to say goodbye to the part of me that like loves like soca music and like yeah. my culture yeah. and you have to give like, you have to give like this because yeah. you have to either yeah. listen to Taylor Swift yeah. or yeah. Lady yeah. Isa yeah. yeah. I was like at home thinking like damn like there's no I have to give up being I have to black. give that yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you know it's just like okay I'm hanging out with all these people and I'm in the club and like like I'm tired of hearing Taylor Swift in top forty yeah. all the time. Yeah. Like yeah, like I was just like over it and I I like I even think my first time going to Blocko I was just like there's more? Yes. Like, I was like, there's I was more? Shock. Like, yeah. genuinely, yeah. I was like, what? Back then, even like, people I can, who were I can walk up my waist line with a gal. <laughs> with, with another gal? Huh? And I have a bottle dashed on my head? Yeah. Oh my God. What do you mean? Like, it was literally yeah. like, like oh, this old, old lady history lesson. And it's like, what that does for yeah. somebody, like in that moment, what that yeah. literally does for It was to your the brain. one time a year. The one time a year, I promise you, as a black gay person, you could go and be gay in mm -hmm. a gay space out loud mm -hmm. and know that it was a safety zone. Like, Black Rama yeah. especially, mm -hmm. there was only one stage you had to fight for it. Yeah. Um, it used to be, <laughs> I used to go work with my girlfriend, excuse me, if anyone asks, I'm here to support you because you're the lesbian. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Plausible deniability. You can't vote, yeah. you, but you can't go anywhere else, but it's giving like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just, I'm cool. I'm chilling. I'm here with the lesbians. I'm here yeah, and the whole but time. I also do, I was thinking that in my head that like, and I, I am an ally, maybe one day you'll find out I lie. Ally. <laughs> find out next time on. Yeah. Um, but I would find that I could go to like all of those parties. I've been going to Pride for like at least 10 years now yeah. as an ally and feeling very comfortable in the space. Yes, of course, some people might come up to me, but everyone's super respectful. So I just want to say that like for all the people that would always go, oh, I can't go to those parties because they're going to all hit on me. I'm like, you're not that you, cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you're not that cute. <laughs> If girls don't want you, man don't want you, especially. I'm telling you now. Yeah, I'm telling you now. So if no girls are giving you an eye, sir, I'm telling you to look homely. Yeah. Our, 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 our standards are a bit higher, my love. I'm telling you. Mm -mm. It's so funny because I, I am like an advocate for like <sighs> straight men taking um, some pointers from the queer community I, in oh, terms yeah. of like just like self care. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, just the small things. Yeah. You know. Self care. Nobody's asking you to fucking put on makeup. No one's asking you to fucking. <laughs> Concealer. Wash your ass. No. <laughs> your nails. How about how about you actually Clean like? Your nails, please. Yeah. Your nails. Yeah. Clean them. Like, yes. Maybe a manicure. Or don't call yeah. them females. I think I think like yeah. each one teach one, guys. Yeah. You know, yeah. let's let's all just come together. And take the best. Because y'all can learn best. a lot. Yeah. 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 Honestly. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly. And what about for you, um, Brittany? Like in your family, West Indian. How was that? <laughs> How is it? Is it okay? Did it get better? Um, it definitely got better. <laughs> uh, how was it in the beginning? Ooh, God. <laughs> You would have thought I set a bomb off in my family. Like, did you like tell them? Or did Let's you be know? on. You know, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, literally. You know, okay. So this is a, this is the interesting thing about it, and this is my whole like theory about. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so for me, it was like, I didn't tell my family. I was very much in secret running around my little girlfriend, living our best yeah, lives. Yeah, yeah. Um, and 
uh, yeah, even if they were around, like they'd sleep over, and yeah. I'd just be like, Perfect. yeah, like, it's fine. <laughs> which is the beauty, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, the beauty of she honestly keeping over. a secret. Mom was studying, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, my bestie, we're sleeping. She's sleeping over, duh. <laughs> my best friend, you sleep yeah. over every weekend. Yeah. <laughs> every weekend. <laughs> like in nineteen, like okay. I'm just like living the dream, <laughs> 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 having my partner sleep over. But yeah, so we were, you know, gallivanting, just living our lives, and. The problem is people see you. Oh, right? chat. Yeah. And people chat. Guess who I saw? And then it goes yeah. da, 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 yeah. and back to your mom. Hands or something. Yeah. yeah. So for me, my my whole story was that like essentially somebody I guess saw us, trickle trickle back, went to my mom. My mom comes in my room. Like, <gasps> just like in six a.m. Oh. Six a.m. Oh comes in my room like. <gasps> You're a liar! No, I'm No, literally, my brain, I said, I said, oh, God, she found weed. I'm like, oh, God, like, she found weed. And she's like, you're a liar. Why would you tell me? You always said this. Just literally having the most traumatic traumatic experience of her life, truly. And I was just like, I don't know what you're talking about. The um, liability. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was like, they I don't know what you're talking about. They lied. I was like, oh, well, this person told me this. And blah, 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 Why do blah. they know? And then I was just like, um, I don't know. And it was just like one of those, I was yeah. like, I don't know what the hell to say right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 What did she want to do? Yes, mom, can yeah. love me? Like, did, and yeah, so then it was really funny to me because of the, it was like a back and forth. It was very heated. And then I eventually was just like, okay, like, I guess. Like, that was my answer. So yeah. My answer was like, I guess. So what now? Right? And then it was just like, okay, so what are you? And I was like, I don't know. And then it was just like, well, are you gay? And I was like, I don't know. And I was like, okay, well, well, like, I don't understand. What do you guys do? What? <laughs> right? So hold on. So here's my thing. Here's my thing. What do you guys do? So okay? that's, that's your and, as, and as like a parent, right? <laughs> this, is, this is my question. As a parent, right? If I was a parent, okay, I don't have yeah. children. If I was a parent <laughs> and my kid was straight yeah. and they're, they're a man and a woman and they're dating, I'm not going to ask you, what do you guys do? <laughs> and I don't want to hear you say <laughs> what, you what y'all are doing. <laughs> I don't want to hear you tell me that you're deep throated. I don't want to hear any of that. I don't want to hear that because I'm your parent. So at what place... <laughs> Does it change when it's a queer yeah, why? situation? She's, I seriously like yeah, actually like mathematically it doesn't make sense to me because I'm like why does. do you want to you don't want to know that like, do anything even you know like, what? so what are you guys even doing what do you mean they're trying to wrap like, their head around the fact that yeah. she's like so what's the point yeah, yeah. 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 she's over here like yeah. so like oh, what do you guys do and you know what and unfortunately, our parents in that generation yeah. has a history of yeah. um, not being sexually pleased themselves. Yeah. So, so yes. like you know, they exactly. can't they can't wrap yeah. their head around their own sexual exploration yeah. or pleasure. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. I know. Oh, right. <laughs> but um, yeah. I think that's where yeah. some of the questions come from because yes. they. I do think some people have it in their mind. I remember in a university class, I spoke up because the people in my class are just having this heated debate and I realized I'm like wait is everybody fascinated about what happens when they go to the bedroom I'm like is that why you hate them it's the sexual like, part it's the sexual aspect I'm of like it. that is the least of your concern like and I remember mm. it was almost like in tears because I just had a really close person to me at the time that recently came out mm. and I just thought to myself like this is the life they have to live like oh, yeah, with yeah. this kind of people thinking like this and <clears throat> I even was one of them unknowingly, like, but when the person told me, I was just like, oh, of course, like, I'm not going to not like you. Like, no. I don't even fucking care. Yeah. But when I thought about all the other people that now, again, as you were saying, it's everyone else who's like, wait, so that person that you used to hang out, now they're gay? And I'm like, yeah. Or you know, like, I don't know. Like, yeah. for them? Yeah, like, you're like, what? I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, there yeah. is a lot of, like, inquisitiveness, which is understandable, because it's getting very much, like, how? Like, how? Yeah. It's getting yeah. very much, like, girl, just a lot of loop, and I'm like, oh. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but it's the idea of, I think but, it's like... the curiosity. It's the curiosity, yeah, but really also is. in the and man. And I think a lot of people man. are unsatisfied, they actually. Are. They are. That's and that's what it is. And they're like, oh, but you... Because if you would... I guess, oh, yeah, that. I guess that's the point I'm making, that... For me, what I realized for them is that they were thinking that if you would 
uh, put yourself up for all of this uh, ridicule, Strife, then yeah. the sex must be amazing. Oh, right. What's the point? Yeah, what's the point? And it's like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's like, they don't, like, they don't, they can't comprehend the idea and it's giving yeah. very much. Like, you know what? Mm-hmm. I woke up one day, I was like, you know what? I, I, I want a second take. Like, like, <laughs> no, like, <laughs> like, like they, they can't comprehend the idea. It's like, you know what? I just, like, I was just chilling in my heterosexual life and then one day I said, you know what? I think I want to suck a dick. Like, there's no concept of that. There's yeah. more to, like, being yeah. Almost like um like your gender sexuality, sex. Sex. Yeah. Yeah. sex. And yeah. if you're into that, go to Pornhub.com and yeah. find out how yeah. that works. Exactly. Because yeah. even, like, even like I think even recently I I found the word demisexual. Yes. Right. And I was like, I feel that because when I think about myself, even yeah, yeah. entering, how you, how you relate to sex, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and how I relate to sex and how I relate to a person and if I want to be intimate with them, mm-hmm. it's like if I don't know you. I don't necessarily want to have sex with you. Yeah, I'm not viewing you. It doesn't matter who you are, you, 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 are, yeah. you yeah. know. But it's like as soon as I get to know you, that's when like, that one light joke. starts to turn on. Exactly. Like, just just give me one joke. Let's give in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome. No, you know, and yeah, it's just yeah. like I think that's where people are just stuck on like sex. Sex. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, like and because and they, I think host, they think yeah. the only point of a relationship is sex. Is sex. Or, yeah. Well, I'm like, or the, the LGBT community has been yeah. just yeah. deemed to be sexual job. deviants. Like, everything exactly. has been yeah. has been like Related associated with, you know, wrong, sexual deviant. It's disgusting. It's wrong. And it's getting mm-hmm. very much like, oh, but like, what do you mean? You're in love? Yeah. Like, yeah. you enjoy oh. this? Oh. Yeah. This concept? <laughs> that yeah. yeah. And girl, you're just like doing sexual deviants. Growing up, I will not lie. I will not lie. I was like, all right, I'm going to hell if I continue this, keep, I keep this up, but I know I can't stop because I've been trying to and God just like, he's not entering me. Mm-hmm. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till like I'm old, like, maybe like 30, 35, and then I'm going to hang it up. I think that's a good age to like yeah. stop being gay. And like, oh, and, and then, and then, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's a phase. No, uh, like I yeah. promise you, it was yeah. given like, oh, it's not going away. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to yeah. get out of my system until I'm 30, 35, and then, you know, get me a wife and settle down and have those kids. Yeah. And that was the actual thought process because yeah. we only equate it to sex, not emotions. Yeah. The idea of falling in love and being happy yeah. was a foreign concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still kind of this. Um, no, I was just saying because it even then, I think what it creates in the community is unhealthy relationships because yep. Yep. if you're thinking that, oh, one day I'm going to get out of this, why would I spend my time trying to get to know somebody or build a life with someone if yeah. I think that they're just there for me to get out this out of my system? Yeah. Like, no, exactly. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. even that interesting, even in, uh-huh. if, yeah. even going from yeah. being, wow. if you're bisexual, I think that also happens when you're going from one dynamic one? to yeah. another. And then, you know, if your partner's feeling like, oh, well, like, are you going to leave me eventually? Leave me? Yeah, because yeah. I feel like I find myself or in a position. Yeah, where it's mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm just... Maybe I'll just be with a man to like have children, mm. and then be with a woman to be in love. Yes. Like that, like that concept. That concept. Yeah. And the weird crazy it's part like, is, it's like you feel like how your happiness has to be defined with one or the other. Right. Yeah. You feel yeah. like it can't. You, those two things can't be mutually exclusive. And mm-hmm. that's the hardest part because if you don't either see examples of it, yeah. mm-hmm. or it's like it's like oh well, I how the fuck do, am I gonna do that unless I'm in a polyamorous yeah. with seventeen right. people in four divisions? Like, yeah. You know, like, yeah. And like those dynamics are hard to navigate, but also realizing that like how you choose to express yourself, how you choose to love, how you choose to receive and give happiness yeah, is yeah. up to you. Yeah. And there are people that are willing, willing, to, willing able to, to receive it, it but don't settle mm-hmm. for the first person you see in the first yeah. experience and yeah. then be yeah. disheartened by that. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you have options too. Like, Hello? as a gay person, like, there are options. And that's why I'm so glad about Pride, to be honest. Like, mm-hmm. I'm really happy that people are able to be themselves because that is my wish for the world, to be honest, because I know that when people are happier in themselves, they treat the world better, they treat people better. Like, we all get to be happier because everyone feels good about being in their own body. Oh, like, yeah, and, I love that. And feeling. when they don't feel good, that's when all the wars and the, you know, yeah. these things happen. Yeah, exactly. As, I have a question for you, yeah. y'all, mm-hmm. both y'all. Hey, here? As black men, I, I mean, my observation, and especially with some of my friends, I'm like, as black men, like, what is your experience with, and I guess we've heard from you, but like, Allison, I really want to hear from you too. Like, what is your, you know, experience with the queer community and like identifying as a black man? Because I feel like there's, that is so specific. I know. And like, if there's anyone that in the LGBTQ, LGBTQ community that I deeply empathize with, 
it is black men. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like they're so underrepresented unseen, unheard, over like fetishized. Yeah, over, over fetishized yeah. or like or deemed as like scary, scary, scary over yeah. masculine. Like, I just feel like it's such a hard space to navigate. Yes. And I guess I'm just wondering, how do you navigate it? Because <laughs> and like as someone also, I feel like you're very open. You're yeah. like you stand strong. I feel like you're also a very masculine presenting man, <laughs> which I <laughs> Does no, but you know what I mean? Like, like physically, like speaking, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like your presence alone. Yeah, like, like your you, physique. If you were to go to cru- ch- um, ch- Church Street and just yeah. stand up at a cruising tangles on woods and just stand there and just, just stand. by yourself, your presence without even saying anything does give off yeah. a certain era. And, and masculinity is energy yeah, yeah, at the yeah. end of the day. So, you know, like, you just give that energy. I guess it's funny because, like, I, it's not I was oh, you don't always see it. like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was the guy growing up doing cartwheels in the, and picking dandelions during soccer. Like, yeah. no one, like, no one, no, everyone thought I was gay. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, mm-hmm. always. It was always a narrative for me. I never, yeah. I never had a choice. It was put on to you. Like. Yeah. yeah. It was put on to me. And then I was always, you hear in the schoolyard, I didn't even know what that meant. Yep. I, was, I was, like, eight years old. Yep. I didn't know what sex was at that yeah. point. You know what I mean? And everyone's, you know, they, they make fun of you and then I'm here researching very confusing spot um, and I guess it just became of the, the, the idea of I have no control of what people say about mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. at this point either I'm too masked or I'm not masked enough or it's just like a, it's, an, it's an ever chattering space me. where it just, it just the silence kind of stops because it doesn't matter what I do all I can and it, it, that's what confuses me the most trying to find the truth through the outside Mm-hmm. Got me confused. Yeah. Mm. So it just became to the it just just came to be that I was like, you know, it makes more sense to me to just be true to myself. I just, like know what's going on on here. Mm-hmm. Trust that, and don't let anybody else tell you because like you know that's yeah. your truth. That's, that's strong. That's a good. Right? That's a strong ment- like a mentality to be able to have and be mm-hmm. unapologetically yourself mm-hmm. in that sense while figuring out who you are in that process. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like I I can't I cannot relate to the same thing because in my mind like. Most people navigate the queerness in Toronto. It's like they go to Church Street, realize that it's all just white twinks. Oh, yeah, what is it? And then when you go there, it's like this space is most definitely not for you. Mm-hmm. It's, mm-hmm. You know that for sure. Yeah. So then, we're over the finish size. And then yeah. what happens is, right? And then it's giving, it doesn't matter. You're just a BBC or the kids, it yeah. to them. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah. You, yeah. you have to, like, you said, your means. blackness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, oh, do you? I'm like, I know. I'm like, I'm like, no, I've seen that yes. one before. Yeah. I'm really yes. laughing because of emails. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, you know me and my fucking trash ass mouth sometimes? I'll be in the meetings, I'll be like, hey, I'm gonna be BBC <laughs> or BBC. Oh, BBC. 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 Yeah. BBC. Yeah. I'm like, BBC. I'm gonna BBC you. Oh, and then BBC, BBC you said, so what? Did I do this? Whoa, whoa, wait till the meeting's over. <laughs> and it was. You said, right now? Right now. <laughs> oh, damn. You're hired. <laughs> 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 no, but like 100% yeah. like navigating that, it is a tricky th- thing. Um, I overcompensate, so like when I'm on road, it's getting, hi, how's it going? Yes! Yeah. 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 Because it's giving, who the fuck is this tall black guy? Yeah. And it's giving like, oh, do not be alarmed, disengage, I'm gay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like, you know, like, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 Let me, hold on, let me take that off. Yeah. 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 Because it's giving like, disengage yes, and like yeah. when, yeah. I'm, when I'm not in like yeah. cash <laughs> mode yeah. um, people are like what's wrong and I'm like oh nothing's wrong and I'm like oh I forget wow. that has to be like a wow. um, yeah. code yeah. switching, code code switching. And, but then navigating you're realizing it's like who the fuck am I out here trying to appease yes, because right. I used to I used to get off I used to be I used to live for oh my god do not cancel me guys the um you're the articulate when you sound so articulate and I used to be like oh my god am I a good one yeah, yeah. Like, you know I mean? like, yeah. when I was younger and then and I remember oh, yeah, someone yeah, was like, yeah. oh my god, after all you've been through, like, you know, like, you're so well spoken. I said, what the fuck have I been through, bitch? <laughs> and mean? I took a second, I was like, what the fuck have I been through? Like, am I a war like, award tour? Like, wait, what? Am I a and then I was like, oh, like this is the most extremely condescending yeah. like thing in the world. And like it took me a second to stop trying to get pat on the back by the yeah. white folks. And really, but bitch, the fuck? Yeah. What the hell? And then be like, uh, uh-uh, this isn't the crowd, and this isn't the spaces that I want need to be around. That's going to either uplift me, or I can just enjoy myself without having to worry about microaggressions. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's why I lead it back to like, you know, smoke. Um, yeah. spaces, spaces that people create that you can just be yourself yeah. and not have to explain the black 
blackness and the queerness. Yeah. And you can listen to Vibes Cartel talk about Skandem and mm -hmm. Balabatiman and dance with your ass up in the air. Ironically, that? like ironically, and know what it means yes. within your own community. Exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, I had a, yeah, I had like a white girl at Pride uh, Smoke last year. Um, we were playing Tio Kichishiman, you know, that yeah, is, yeah, yeah, the yeah, gays, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is, that is the a song. song. The worst I mean, song you play, the yes. gays will go up for. Yeah. yeah. This that girl said, I love it. <laughs> Like she was out here like having a whole panic attack. And I'm like, girl, what's wrong? I'm like, girl, what's wrong? And she's like, I just don't think it's right. I said, oh my god, are you gay? She's like, no, you're my boyfriend. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, yeah, I'm like you no. literally see a sea of gay queer black folks yeah. like enjoying themselves, like you know, reclaiming the song and then like, skinning their body jaw to it. Yeah. And you're sitting here to trying to like come into coming to us space. No, 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 shame. Coming to a space to dictate what we should be offended yeah. about. Yeah. 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 Because you feel like you heard an article yeah. about it on Vice Thank last you. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. <laughs> Yeah. Look at it, it's like, yeah. yes, and that's yeah. why we wholeheartedly are yeah. like, that's why people scream. Enjoying yeah. it, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you know, it's, it's about finding those spaces. Well, <laughs> gosh, come on. I am everybody. See? As black folks, yeah. you have to laugh through you trauma. Yeah. You have to yeah. trauma. Yeah. And that's then when you're yes. done laughing, you skin out. You got the most trauma. I think that's, maybe that's like, why the pride parade really like came to be because even in like caravan and carnival people think that you know we're out there caribbean people just just dancing and skinning their ass yeah. yeah this was historical yeah. we did this because when we got to be free from the slavery this was us saying yo we could do whatever we want now the message is lost mm -hmm. within like when exactly. they see it now the party yeah. Yeah. and same with pride now like people are That's getting on with that because they weren't allowed to do that before. Yeah. Like, it's probably the right, and can I just say another thing? For yeah. all the LGBTQ plus TIA, by all my folks, any of the freedoms that we have as people today all stem from one black trans woman and one black, Let's sorry, one Latin trans woman, okay? Yeah, yeah. Talk about if it was it. not for Marsha P. Johnson, yes. and insert her name here, it's gonna come to me. If it was not for two POC um, trans women being like, fuck this, I'm fed the fuck up, and dashing a brick out that fucking um, stone wall uh, bar, if it was not for two of those people saying enough is enough, None of the freedoms, none of the things that we would have to this day, all these corporations, all right. the responding, would not exist if it wasn't for them. Yeah. So once again, black trans people, uh, black folks are yeah. leading at it, Always. and then uh, allowing people to have the privileges and the freedoms that we have Every to time. this day now, mm -hmm. but yet still navigate a system which necessarily isn't designed for them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, Block of 25 this year. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Also, I know that you, um, <clears throat> You're, you're an icon in the ballroom community. Legend. Legend. Legends. Legends. Yes. A legend. Not icon yet. <laughs> uh, I want you, if you can, are you like willing to like teach us more about mm -hmm. that? Honestly, like, personally, I don't know much. Absolutely. Except I was online. Like, Absolutely. Yeah, um, I want to know. Sorry. No, no, no. Yo, no, 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 no. Hey, please, yes. Because uh, personally, I'm like, I really, I told myself, hey, I want to walk this summer. Bitch, you can. Um, you got the body. Or Sex Siren or Face. See, you, you, see, you already know what it is. Um, and yeah, so, but I'm just like, so I just feel like I always go to watch, but I don't know enough. The yeah. culture, the content. It. Yeah, the culture oh, to like, but yeah, so please, yeah. just give it to us all. Something basic for the ones who are. No, I was I mean, the people who are like, yeah, like, no, I oh, okay. we can, let's go, yeah. We've been right. it's it's fun. Perfect, yes. As we walk, I'll kind of give you a little breakdown. So, yeah. back in the 1950s, 1960s, mm -hmm. spaces, like to this day, still aren't designated or designed for black folks and Latin folks. So, when they created their own system of. Yes. Our own fashion shows, our own movies, our right. own cinemas, our own Grammys, our own Oscars, a way to celebrate our own people, mm -hmm. right? So imagine walking to a category that's giving, all right, amongst all our homegirls, who yeah. is the bitch with the best body? Yeah. Who got the prettiest face? Mm -hmm. Who got the most sassiest walk? Mm -hmm. And those are ways for you to be celebrated, loved by your community, um, your accolades are given to you by your communities, and a way to build your confidence. Yeah. Yes. Ballroom yes. is a way to kind of get your confidence built up so that once you leave the ball and you go into the real life, no one can tell you shit. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where the name Cash came from. My right. name is Shimada Kid. You, you created a little alter ego. So you're going to come up 
all of us in the crib, a little alter ego, a little okay. nickname that you're gonna switch into. You got Beyonce, you got Sasha Fierce. Right. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. come on, the alter ego that's gonna be like that's your character. Okay. And once okay, you get cool. into your character, think about the name, and then you're gonna create it, and then that's gonna be your persona. Okay. So all the things that you wish you could be like that you necessarily aren't, that's who you're gonna be. Okay. When you're okay. 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 Right? So how do you know which category to walk? Like, what are the categories? Okay. What are, what yeah, yeah. So we got realness, which is the perfect thing for pride. So yeah. realness is for the girls who are like you know butch queens who are like gay boys or best sexual boys with a little sass but they can pass that straight. Right. So for you, my man, if you just, this idea of being like, if you're in the hood, imagine you're in the hood and I when you want to buy some weed and buy it backward. So for real, it's given, how are you going to mask and pretend to walk through the hood like a gangster man and no one's going to know that you like dick or the, every now and again. Okay. Yeah. So it's about the idea of, you know, um, um, over the top, um, ideas of like toxic, uh, toxic masculinity. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, okay. what do All normal right. straight guys do? Scratch their nasty, yeah. itchy balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. one of these, or they love flat. a little hair flat, or like, you know, <laughs> or one of these. So, it's giving like, boom. So, wait, what's your character's name? Um, gonna be. <laughs> um, Tyrone. Tyrone? Yeah, okay. Tyrone Diplo. Yo, big Ty. Oh, 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 that's, all right. Ty Dip. Ty. Dip. Ty. Okay. <laughs> Ty dip. Oh, okay, wait. Dip. See, see? That's Ty. Big dip. Okay. Ty dip. All right. Ty dip. Big Ty. All right. So big Ty. So you know what? So big Ty. All right. I'm going to be the judge here. You're going to walk up to me like, you know, you're the most gangster man on the block. You're trying to take my girlfriend. All right. So let's see it. Give me that realness. Realness. All right. Yo. You sure, you sure you're not gay? Show me you're straight. Give me some toxic, toxic you know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I see it. Chew gum. Okay, that's gay, but I like it. Yeah, that's gay. You know, you give it. Yeah, 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 I got you. You know, it, 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 tap into that. Tap into it. Right. See? And you go to tap. Boom. Oh, see, it's real with a twist. Real with a twist. With an eight. See, there you go. Okay. Yeah. And now, Miss Sex Siren, you already know. Okay. So yeah. the idea of Sex Siren is not supposed to give slutty or. Yeah. Like, it's supposed to seduce. It's supposed to entice. It's supposed mm -hmm. to make somebody. From across the room. It's about the idea of teasing the slow fingernails across yes. the, you know, you want to. It's, it's not giving come fuck, but it's giving, oh, I want you to come. Do you want to come fuck me? <laughs> I know. Slow, <laughs> enticement, engagement, yeah. and whatnot. And like, it's about the slow, and however, sexiness comes to you. Everyone is sexy okay. in their different ways. Mm -hmm. Body, <laughs> shape, don't matter. But yes, all right, so. Give me the name of the yes. All right, and what's your, what's your name going to be? Um. Oh, what's, wait, um, what, what's your secret nickname that you have for yourself? Like, when you go on vacation, you're like, my name is... <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's yeah. Tasha. Okay, it's Tasha. Because <laughs> Tasha's the inner little... Okay, yeah. Tasha, okay. Tasha. Oh, Tasha with the Tatas. Okay, Tasha let's go. Cooking. See, boom. All right, she's going to be selling sex. Sorry, we're going to sell it all the way over here. Sell it slow. Tasha, hey. Tasha. Hey, Tasha. That sexy, Tasha. sexy. That body, body. Ooh, entice me. Okay. Nice me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, sign her up now. Grand what? prize. I mean, oh, you already got it. What house wants her? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You know what? There's a ball tonight. <laughs> There's a ball tonight. There's a ball tonight. Check out <laughs> Carrie with 238 Parliament Street. It goes on every two Thursdays. Check it out. Oh, I must have made some money off you tonight. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. All right. Boom. All right. And then what else? You said else? You, you uh, is the house mother. You're the, yes. you yes. the statuous mother. one. Mother. You are the one giving me best dress all the time, always yes. together. Yes. So yes. what you want to do is give off, mm -hmm. like head back. You want to give shoulders back? Oh, yeah. Shoulders back. And it's giving, yeah. giving like, you're selling your whole outfits okay. or your thing. So when you're walking forward, you're going to be showing off the jacket that she made herself. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yes, Ooh. I did. I did. Showing off the necklace, the pants, the body and the heels. Boom. All right? Boom. And you're going to walk around with yes. Yeah. And it's giving, do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see I saw this. Boom. Uh -huh. <laughs> I need more internet. I'm professional. I need to, two oh, drinks in. Okay. Imagine two drinks in. Two you're drinks like, in. you're like, bitch. Do you see who the okay. fuck I am? Yeah. Do you know what the fuck I do? Do you see what I do? No, no. Come show it to them. Okay. Oh my. Am I good? No. Head, head up. up. Head up. Boom. Walk. Yeah. Now show me the jacket. Hey. Yes. Hey. All right. Hey. Bell. Uh. Hey. Boom. Hey. Get into the fit. Boom. Get into the fit. Boom. Yes. Um. Uh, um. Uh. Hey. Hey. Hold on. Are you hiding a waist? Is there a waist in there? Hey. Is there a shape back there? Is there a body back there? What? Oh. What ballroom just taps into a little. Mm. See, see, that's yeah. 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 You said a little shape of chairs. You said, oh, it's here. Don't sleep. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Boom! Hey! Yeah. See? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> 
No, but see, yeah, ballroom is just all tapping into those inner things. Um, even when you're not feeling it, most girls usually just tap into it like this. Jeez. It's the inner confidence. It don't matter, but like it goes. Yeah. I can do a little hand performance. This is what I usually yeah, do. How do you do that? How do you do it? Well, one, you have to be gay for more than five years, so you're gay risk. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you have to have yeah, nice the gay risk. risk action. Like, so! Yeah, I don't know. And then we do a simple one, so we're gonna do pretty much just going to. Tap your shoulder here. And then the opposite one. This is gonna give one, two, three, four. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Hey, Macarena, hey! It's pretty much like two, 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 two. And then hand here. And then cut up. Cut up. gonna get right? Yeah. And then it's one, two, three, four. Hand here. And then slow up. Not to your microphone coming up. But. Yeah, it's pretty much just feeling the beat, and literally, like, Vogue is all about a freestyle. Every mm. other dance is, like, mm. steps and whatnot. You can't teach Vogue. You God, can teach you. the steps of Vogue. Comes, right. Elements, there's hands, catwalk, duck walk, full mm. performance, Dance and the drop. dip. Yes, but, how do you do it? Wait, is the dip, like, is there a trick to the dip? Yeah. There is, you, I got the you. last one, yes. So come yeah. on, give me hands. Oh, so, I just had his legs today. So what you're going to do is do That's this good. part right here. So hold this like this. Yeah, okay. what's the trick? Right. Okay. So you're gonna hold your body up. Okay. So what you're gonna do is go down with me. Go, 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 go straight. Go straight. And then like this. Come here, come here, come here. Okay. And then you're gonna put your hands up like this. You're right. Okay. Put your hands up. Okay. Yeah. Go back. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 So, so, so it's gonna take a bit more practice. Yeah. 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 But after a while, yeah. That's um, what we just found out. After That's four hard. across the world. <laughs> <laughs> but after a while, you'll be able to like go like this and like this. Yeah. After the last six times, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's a bit older. That but yeah. Is. So this is the house of uncut. Yeah. Welcome. You ready yes, now? Literally. Yeah. That's yeah. Uncut. Yo, guys, thank you so <laughs> much yeah. for coming out. Well, thank you for episode. having us. I'm out of grip. Oh, hey, shit. Hey. Show up the body. Okay. Oh, okay. whoa. with more pride, pride people. I mean, the whole community is coming up. Yeah. We're all invited. Yeah. We're gonna have a conversation about different things. Um, more performances, oh, more personalities, yes. more activations. More education. More education. More, more, more. More, more, more. 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 Um, so yeah, again, go subscribe, follow us online. We'll be here next Thursday. Yeah, at 7 p.m. ish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 and let's help donate. Make sure yes. you put the money. money. Give me the money. You, you saw, saw that dancing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, money, money, <laughs> money. Hey. Thank you so yeah. much. Yes, don't forget. Bye. Uncut. <laughs> <laughs>